the moment you say I do, <laughs> that is the moment the real work starts. But don't get me wrong. This is where you and your partner should work together to have a mutual relationship in the marriage. As a young girl, before getting into marriage, I had a lot of advices from parents, mentors, marriage counselors, and all that. But you know, then we'll be like, mm hmm, okay. The third thing I wish I knew before getting married <laughs> is that marriage is not the end, rather it's the beginning. <laughs> Guys, eh, before getting married, I'll, I'll be like, let me just get married. Let me rest. So I'll be pampered. So I'll be taken care of. So that <laughs> everything I want will just be at my collar and back. <laughs> Man, this is when the real work starts. I didn't mean any physical work or going to the farm or doing anything. No, this is when you become a real woman. A real woman involves and entails a lot of responsibilities. Taking care of your husband, taking care of your children, 
taking care of your husband's family, even your own family, all those things will now be on your own shoulder. So marriage is not the end, but rather is the beginning. In fact, it's the beginning of work. It's the beginning and the final stage of your life. The fourth thing you should know is Think of the possible ways of making the marriage add spices to the marriage. You know, do a lot of things that will, you know, make you happy. Enjoy your life. In that your first marriage and that your second marriage. <laughs> because when your children start coming, hey, <laughs> the finances will be limited. The time will be limited. The attention will be limited. Even you as a wife, all the attention will not be shifted to the children. Or let me say most of the attention will not be shifted to the children. So enjoy your marriage. This is the time for you to build a mutual relationship. This is the time for you to build the foundation of your marriage. So in the first year of your marriage, or even the second year, of, and also your second year of your marriage, enjoy your life. Make the best places, go places, have fun. In fact, enjoy, enjoy your marriage now. The next thing I wish to tell you is that your spouse will not complete you no you should have this sense of fulfillment in you before entering into marriage you should have this sense of achievement this sense of independence do you understand because 
if you think that everything will depend on your spouse no it's not going to happen you should ha you should be healed from your past hurts you should be healed from your past mistakes don't go into the marriage with hearts don't go into the marriage with with low self-esteem don't go into the marriage with okay this man is going to complete me this man is going to help me to see let me tell you, you know that the two of you have become one yes he will help you to build your dreams he will help you to complete you but just go into the marriage and have that sense of fulfillment in you another thing i need you to know is that you won't always feel in love all the time yes you will not oh like, like if anybody tells you that it's going to be like all these um filipino movies that we watch all the cinderella, uh, cinderella fairy tales that always happily married after oh tell the person is a liar there are times that your partner will get you pissed off that will be like what is this really the man i got married to is this really the man i fell in love with so but the only thing that because you have to know that these are two people you guys are two separate people you come from a different background you come from a different family you come from a different upbringing so there will be problems that will be for us there is no marriage without for us there is no marriage without fight there is no marriage without i don't mean physical fight i mean physical i mean um oral fight maybe you know but what you need to know is the way you tackle your own problems the way you handle your own problems that is why communication is very important in marriage that is why understanding is very very important in marriage so whenever such things arises you guys will know how to handle your problems without bringing interference from a standard from family members or from friends do you understand so that is it number nine thing i need you to know is you will lose a lot of friends hmm. yeah i lose a lot of friends too not because not because there is any problem not because we have quarrels or what but because that it's either they drift themselves away from you or you drift yourself away from them without even knowing because the responsibility of marriage is now on you. You will see yourself getting tied up by marriage. That you won't even think of friends. You won't even think of hanging out. I used to think that when I, once I get married, all those girls hanging out will continue again. No. Once you are married, and especially when the children start coming, no more time. All your attention will not be shifted on your marriage how to make the marriage work in fact every day has its own thinking every day has its own wahala <coughs> do you understand so you will lose a lot of friends don't feel bad about it and let your friends understand that it's a normal thing some will understand why some will understand even you as a person that like, you don't even have that chance again you don't have that time again to check up on your friends because you're now hooked up you're now being tied down by marriage by children by responsibilities everything the last thing for me which is the most important thing is to make the most of the time you have to spend with your siblings with your family with your parents guys time time is running so fast because once you get married you really miss all those times when we grow up and be separated by marriage, <coughs> honestly, we miss all those times. But once you get married, you now face the real life. You now know that you have to cherish every moment you spend with your siblings. You have to cherish every moment you spend with your family. I miss my family so. If you're a young girl watching this video, Please do not take the time you spend with your family for granted. Because when you get because when you get married, you will not know how precious those times were. I think I'll end this video here. Please do remember to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Please, I need your comments. Tell me what you think. I need your comment in the comment section. I need you to say your mind open up your mind let's communicate tell me what you think about this video point out the, your own opinion too so stay tuned for other videos until i see you again
Bye.